What is up everybody? Today we are actually going to be testing Unreal Engine 5.1 demo. There is a demo that's just been released by a developer. It's an industrial factory abandoned environment demo that's built on Nanite Lumen and with the typical rasterization. Now this version that I'm running right now is actually for Nanite and Lumen. Now in this video today I'm going to be testing with Nanite and Lumen and without with typical rasterization that is that how is the difference between both of those and uh, if it's actually feasible for you guys or any system builders or anyone that's playing games to actually play Lumen and Nanite games uh, with Lumen and Nanite enabled and without it okay so this is the purpose of today's video first we're gonna be testing it with Lumen and Nanite and these are the stats on the screen as you can see right here let's go over the graphics options we have epic enabled which is the maximum that you could go in this and at 1080p full screen mode all right let's accept this so in case anything is not applied all right so as you guys can see we're just gonna start the demo we're gonna play through it let's try to see if we get uh, what kind of a performance do we get okay so as soon as we start the demo the environment is already loaded this is just kind of a demo and there is a small orb uh, type thingy that's actually guiding us to go ahead and follow it all right let's start counting the frames from uh, this side uh, we're also gonna see if the graphics that are on the screen are actually uh, that do actually justify the performance that we're getting or not because after a while I'm gonna turn down the settings and I'm also going to run the game without Lumen and Nanite now all these graphical options that are present in this uh, version of the demo are with nanite and lumen enabled so uh, high medium and low also they will have nanite and lumen enabled in them all right so let's go ahead and first move ahead and uh, looks like the frame rate is increasing a little bit although we're getting some stutters which is bound to happen it's an unreal engine 5 demo so unreal engine 5 is already causing <laughs> a lot of stutters in many games as you guys might know but uh, this is just some uh, traversal stir. All the GPU is not being maxed out, so I think it's also getting some um, uh, load on the CPU side. We will also check that. Uh, we're actually at 98, 97 watts of GPU usage. This GPU is an RX 6600. If you guys cannot see on the screen, and a Ryzen 5 3600 and 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM. But yeah, it seems like it's using the graphics. Uh, it's using the GPU most of the times uh, fully, but not all of the time sometimes it's dropping in uh, at 90 percent although above 90 percent we could say that it's pretty nice it's pretty good okay so uh seems like we have not dropped from 30 fps but we're keeping like in the mid 30s and uh lower 30s we are also going to the lower 30s i saw 31 so yeah as soon as we enter the buildings it, it goes uh up to 40s and sometimes higher than uh 41 42 but yeah it's still staying within like it's still playable frame rates if this was a game I would say it's pretty nice looking in my opinion all right so I think that's enough for ultra or epic settings although these starters were pretty bad now I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's try to run it with high settings all right guys I'm back and uh, let's try to run with high settings and uh, let's try to count the performance here okay let's accept this okay as soon as I do that the performance jumps a lot okay so as you guys can see I can already see some difference majorly in uh, objects far away as you guys can see there that uh, railing and stuff is kind of becoming shimmery so I think it's applying some kind of TSR I think and it's also going ahead and reducing the lighting quality which I observed as soon as I launched with high settings okay so this is the high settings now and uh, 65 fps right now i've started counting the frames again although it seems like the stars have also reduced okay, and the vram vram story is kind of different it's still at 7.8 gigabytes which is close to maximum like 8 gigabytes for this gpu so i would say that uh, the game is utilizing most of the times close to uh, close to 8 gigabytes even on high settings so the textures look amazing so Maybe that's why. Yeah, that is the main reason for the VRAM being maxed out most of the time. So the servers can also be due to ma VRAM being maxed out at epic settings. Okay. So it seems like we're getting 71 FPS average as soon as we enter the building. Uh, this building, uh, the FPS kind of improved a lot. Although staying in the higher 60s most of the times. So yeah, please. Uh, so yeah, pretty, pretty play playable also. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead now and go to medium settings. Alright guys, medium settings have been applied now. Let's go back and let's see the difference. Okay. Wow, this that's huge. Oh my god. That's huge. That was a huge difference. There seems like there's a lot of things ab absent from the screen. 
I thought that many things weren't loaded even, but seems like the textures have decreased and nanite quality has also decreased a lot. Okay, although the FPS, as you can see right there, the FPS is kind of in the hundreds. Yeah, it's still a demo, but uh, it was still pretty intensive at epic settings from 30 FPS to medium, like pretty scalable for uh, a demo, I, I would say. All the shadow quality and uh, lighting quality is greatly has greatly reduced. I think the internal lighting uh, inside the buildings is totally absent, I would say. The shadows are totally absent here. So yeah. Okay, I think you guys get the idea. Now let's go to low settings. Let's try to launch it again. Whenever I press escape on this, the, game, uh, the demo goes ahead and uh, closes it itself. Alright, so let's go to low settings now. Let's apply this. And uh, let's see what the worst, the worst that we're going to see. Okay, <laughs> everything just went to zero okay so it seems like it's still using nanite as you guys can see the textures and uh, these small little uh, pieces of brick and rock is still using nanite and lumen but lighting and shadows have totally disappeared okay although the fps is like at 180 190 so i would say the demo should have a little bit of those uh, a little bit of lighting and shadows still enabled even on low and medium settings which is turning totally off right now but uh, yeah, that's totally up to the developers if they want to optimize the game or, or the demo for any PC, they might be able to do this. Uh, or if you're developing a game yourself in UE5, then uh, you guys can easily turn off all those settings like they did and turn it into this like like white screen, okay? That there's I cannot see much on the screen. Uh, I cannot see much colors on the screen, okay? Because there's no lighting and shadows, okay? So let's go ahead now and let's move to let's move to normal rasterization and uh, let's see what kind of performance performance does it give and uh, how does it actually look compared to this? All right, guys. So this version of the demo doesn't give us uh, a menu to actually go ahead and uh, change the settings. Although we have some buttons here which we can press and we can enable some settings and disable some settings here. Okay. I'm going to choose daylight because this was the uh, way I was testing it previously. No flashlight because I didn't use it previously. And uh, I'm going to use first seven, which is ultra graphic settings. Okay. We're going to use maximum graphic settings and then let's... Uh, bring out our OSD on screen display for say afterburner and let's launch it with G okay now G is the key with which you can actually launch this uh, yeah first of all I see that lumen is not enabled in this yeah lighting is totally different it's typical rasterization but not so much for nanite I I can still see the objects that have a little bit of detail on them but I don't think nanite is making a huge difference in in visual quality compared to uh, typical rasterization or typical tessellation. Yeah, tessellation still looks pretty good. I don't know if te uh, nanite also uses tessellation or not, but nanite's function is basically to uh, render the particles that are far away at a uh, much lower polygon count than the particles that are close to you on the screen. Although lumen and nanite are making a huge difference in the lighting quality. As you guys can see, this scene specifically uh, in that uh, Lumen and Nanite demo version, it was totally totally different compared to this. The uh, lighting looked totally different compared to this one. Uh, although the game is, uh, the demo is lagging a lot. The same can be said for this one. I cannot see, yes, as you guys can see, this is uh, screen space reflections. As, you, as soon as I turn the camera up, the window reflection starts coming up in the puddle here. Okay. So I don't know why this is lagging a lot, but also this is not using the maximum GPU. So is Lumen Nanite version uh, better than this? Well, the FPS at ultra settings is kind of better than that. Yeah, because it was giving like 30 to 35 FPS. This is stuttering and lagging more. I think it's having issues with loading the game, uh, loading the demo whenever I'm moving. And this is traversal stutter that is present in UE5 games most of the times. So yeah, yeah same here. Screen space reflections, no Lumen. No lumen reflections and stuff. Although the performance is good, but stirring is like so bad. So bad. Okay. Let's keep on moving ahead and let's try to move here. We're getting uh, pretty bad FPS. Although it was in the 90s and I started counting the frames now it's 77 FPS average because our 1% and 0.1% lows are pretty bad due to starters. Okay. So let's turn, uh, let's turn the settings down to medium and let's be back. Alright guys, I've turned the settings to uh, high graphic settings uh, by pressing 6 here and now we're going to launch it again. Okay, why is it not launching? I'm pressing G. 
All right, guys, so I've launched it with high graphics preset. And although it seems like the stars have gone away, but uh, the performance doesn't seem like it's improved that much. It's, I would say it's lower than before. Sometimes it's going into the hundreds, maybe it's still loading stuff. But uh, yeah, it's still launching. It's still like loading stuff, I think. It's still not completely loading the stuff that's on the screen. Okay, let's keep on moving ahead. Let's start counting the frames here. Uh, the GPU usage is very low. Like it's uh, in the 70 watts, like 70% and sometimes going into 50 watts, 50%. The CPU usage is totally up the roof right now. It's like in the 50%. So typical rasterization is having more load towards the CPU side. That's really different. That's really weird compared to other games that we've observed with Lumen and Nanite. So maybe this uh, demo is more CPU bound when it's rast uh, doing rasterization compared to Lumen and, Nan uh, Lumen and Nanite. That's pretty interesting and uh, 118 FPS average, sometimes going into the 144s. The FPS is all over the all over the place, like it's sometimes in the 100s, sometimes in the 60s. <laughs> wow, depending upon the scene and the movement of the camera, it is totally different, guys. Yeah, so uh, let's try to decrease the settings. I think it's very, very VRAM bound when it's not using Nanite and Lumen in this demo specifically. As you guys can see the VRAM fluctuation, many of the data, uh, much of the data that is going into the VRAM is being swapped out right now from the RAM. So I think it's, it's getting pretty VRAM bound, I would say. That's why the FPS is all over the place and we got some stars when it was at ultra settings, okay, with typical rasterization. So yeah, that's a good finding. So typical rasterization, I think, is more unstable compared to Lumen and Nanite when you're using, uh, when you're using, uh, like 8 gigabyte GPUs. And typical, raster, uh, typical rasterization becomes more and more uh, VRAM bound, okay, compared to Lumen and, uh, Lumen and Nanite. It's totally showing here, right here, yeah. So uh, let's go back and uh, go to lower settings. I'm gonna apply, I don't, I can't see what's written here, low graphic settings. Okay, low graphic settings have been applied, let's launch it. Okay guys, so this is low graphics preset now, but uh, compared to ultra settings, this is still pretty good looking and uh, Compared to the Nanite version of this demo, the graphical difference between the low graphics and ultra graphics is not much there. Okay, there's not much of a difference. Although the resolution, I would say, is kind of somewhat different. But uh, yeah, Lumen and Nanite was pretty scalable in terms of graphics, but this is not much scalable. So I don't know what's the reason behind them, uh, behind the developers developing it this way and uh, not having the options turned off the other way around, like it was doing previously. And uh, you can see the difference in lighting and stuff. It's it's still there compared to Lumen and Nanite. Although the FPS, I would say it's more in the hundreds now compared to high settings. And stutters are still there. It's totally VRAM bound still. It's in the 8 gigabytes as you guys can see. The VRAM is totally pegged at 8 gigabytes. So I don't know what's happening with the graphical options. All right. So this, I think, gives us... Uh, a good idea of how the Lumen and Nanite compares to typical rasterization in terms of performance and graphical fidelity. Lumen and Nanite looks good. It performs worse in terms of average FPS, but it's pretty scalable, I would say, if you develop it the right way. And if the developers are developing, because many games are coming out, there are actually developing UE5. And UE5.4, I was pretty uh, amazed to see the new, new improvements in that engine. I'm looking forward to these games coming out in UE5 now. Alright guys, so that concludes today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content and content like this where we analyze some stuff and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.